Hey Canvas, Georgia, back in the man cave. Shock and horror. You know, I have got to stop shopping online. It's killing me. I see these things and I'm like, ooh, it's all shiny and stuff and I gotta get it. Then I look at the price and I get it. Anywho, there I was. I was looking through some stuff on Amazon. I uh, ordered something for the cottage and I was just checking on the delivery. A suggestion came up. <laughs> the horror. They're killing me. It was a good suggestion, I think. I went ahead and ordered it and it came in today. It's a buckshot knife. It looked pretty cool. And I thought it was really different. So I'm, I needed to have a look at it. So what this is, is a full tang hand axe. Yeah, I know. Hand axe? What are you going to do with a hand axe? Here it is in the packaging. Very nice packaging. And it's from Buckshot Knives. There you can see it. I'm opening it up. So I thought I'd share it with you while I'm doing that. Sorry. Yeah, I know. So what they say is the tactical knife, hunting knife, survival knife, full tang, hand axe, fixed blade knife, sharp blade. Oh, they got all sorts of things. Accessories for camping, gear survival kit, survival gear, tactical gear, you name it. It's for that. Yeah, I know. Including, wait for it, letter opening. <laughs> yeah, I know. Letter opener, huh? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know how I would use it. No, no, no. Oh yeah, this is convenient. It opened it. Looks like I cut the bill. <laughs> Who cares? It's just a bill. Oh well. Oh, this winter is costing me a lot of money. I'm getting sick. I'm getting a cold. Maybe that'll keep me offline. Nah. <laughs> Interesting, totally different, something really unusual. What you can use it for? Well, I'm not so sure what they say online, but I'll show it to you anyway. Sorry. And here it is in the package, nicely wrapped. Uh, in the package, there was nothing with it. I did not get this from Buckshot Knives. I got it from somebody else. And I looked all over the internet to try and find something about this knife, and I couldn't find anything, which made it even more interesting. Here it is. There you go. Hand axe. It's got a sheath on it. It's made from that uh, ballistic material. Looks pretty nice. A handy sheath. You can see there. Open it. It's a snap. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And there it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I take it that's how you hold it. It does have on the back here a little serrated, not really serrated, but a place to put your thumb. Is. It actually fits my fingers pretty good. So you can see yeah, it's got the, it's got a pretty big blade. I'm surprised about that. The size, you can see there, it's not very big at all. A logo on it, Buckshot Knives. Uh, you saw in the uh, intro, intro, I showed that to you. You can see it's over there. And then on the other side, this is interesting. HBK206CH3CR13 steel. Yeah, I know. USA design crafted in China. There you go. Now, that's interesting because the things I've heard about the uh, 3CR13 steel is the Chinese knockoff of uh, 440 stainless. I think that's what it is. It'll be interesting to see how it works. It has a nice big blade, wood handle, and you can see there it has the, the handle is uh, a wood handle. You can see here the finger indentation. These three fingers and your thumb. Interesting. It's pretty sharp. Let's try this. Whoa, there you go. So it does come sharp. It has a really deep grind on it. It gets pretty thin. It's kind of disappointing for me because I thought maybe I could use it uh, camping. You're not going to batten this close to my fingers. It does have a hole in here, which I assume the way it goes in the sheath like that, thought maybe you could put it on a lanyard that way. There is nowhere to put it on your belt or anything. It just has this clip and the sheath. So they do say it is just put it in your pocket. I don't know if that would work for me. It's a little bigger, but it, it may work. So this goes in there like that. Look, you can see there. So it's a 4.75 inch fixed blade knife. It's not that heavy. I don't think weight is a problem. I don't know if I'd put it in your pocket with your keys. It might get a little bit heavy. Let's have a look, see some dimensions here. Let me get a tape measure. So I have my trusty tape measure here. I want to see how long the blade is. Three and a half inches. 
So you've got a three and a half inch blade there. You know, the only thing I'm thinking about this is that it would make a good kitchen utility for camping, chopping up stuff, your veggies and things like that, cutting your meat, fillet a fish with it. I mean, that that's pretty thin. You might be able to fillet a fish. Other than that, I really don't know. A letter opener, like you said. Yeah, I know. Certainly an interesting self-defense weapon. A hand axe. Who would have thunk? It's well made. Sturdy, nice full tang. Is it any good? What can you use it for? I'm really not sure. But it looks cool. It's something different. That's all I can say. And it's really shiny. Which gets me every time. The hand axe. Buckshot. No. Now, yes, something interesting. I did go to their website and have a look at the, the Buckshot website. And I couldn't find it on. And uh, which means it's probably a fairly new thing. But they have uh, some interesting knives on there. Really way out there stuff. But it's a, an interesting idea. Maybe I'm missing the point of it. I don't think it's going to be very useful for me, to be honest. I'll probably throw it in one of my, my day packs. I'll try it in the kitchen. The camp kitchen, not the cottage kitchen. One good thing, it's sharp. I thought I'd share it with you. Quick look at it. Maybe you can put something in the comments below about what it could be used for. Maybe I'm just totally missing the point. Buckshot, hand axe, something different. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back again soon. Hopefully with something a little bit more exciting. I was excited about this. Yeah, I know. Now, I'm not so sure. Just saying. Thanks for watching.